Can I ask you to stand now for the academic procession? opening prayer. Lord God, we pray in thanksgiving for bringing us safely to this day and for all those who have made this journey possible. Bless those who graduate today. May they know your great love for them and may they seek goodness, beauty and truth in all that they do. May they use their many gifts wisely and generously and for the greater good of the whole human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, graduates, guests, and staff, I now declare the ceremony open. I invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Margaret House, to give her opening address. Pro Chancellor, colleagues, head teachers and teachers from our partner schools, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here to our 2018 Summer Graduation Ceremony. Today we're here to celebrate the success of all of you graduating from the Institute of Childhood and Education from our PGCE Primary and Leeds Skit programmes. This ceremony officially marks the formal completion of your studies and the beginning of fresh challenges as most of you start your professional careers. What you have achieved should not be underestimated. Intellectually and mentally demanding, studying for a degree requires a great deal of hard work, perseverance and determination. When you all started your journey with us, you'd chosen a course that would not only change your life, but also the lives of those you will teach. And although I have no doubt that your teacher training and alternative placements were demanding, I do hope that they were also rewarding, inspiring, and enjoyable. Studying for a professional qualification is a major personal commitment and investment in your future, probably one of the biggest that you will ever make. It demonstrates a confidence and a belief in yourself and in your abilities and in your future prospects. And following a further year of hard work and dedication, you've done it. And today is your day to celebrate and to enjoy. And it's my pleasure and honor to celebrate with you and I know I speak for everyone here present when I say how proud we are of each and every one of you. But today is also about the people who supported you throughout your educational journey. So parents, carers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, children, husbands, wives, partners, teachers and friends. You have all been there for our graduates throughout their entire educational journey. A journey which started long before Leeds Trinity University and one which may continue afterwards for some. Your contribution to their achievements have been invaluable, and I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for always being there for our graduates during their time with us, and I'm delighted to see so many of you here with us joining in their celebrations this evening. 
So graduates, I would like you to stand, to turn and face your family, your friends, your supporters, and join with me in showing how appreciative we are of the support they've given you. Now, come along. You can do better than that. You must be more grateful than just that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, more of that will do. That's fine. I'm also honoured to share the sanctuary with another group of people here today who've played a significant role in your success. These are my colleagues, your lecturers and tutors, who've been there for you throughout your studies, supporting you and providing you with knowledge and inspiration. Also, our teachers from our partnership schools, who've been again helping you within your school environments. We must also acknowledge the contribution of our professional and support staff, without whom the delivery of your programmes, placements and events like today simply wouldn't happen. I'm incredibly proud of the academic, professional and support staff here at Leeds Trinity University. They work hard to ensure your success and I think it's fitting that we again show, us, show them our appreciation. This time I would like the staff in the sanctuary and within the chapel and indeed within the auditorium. If they could stand and please join me in showing our appreciation. proud of you, our graduates, and as you take your next steps in your career, we're proud to welcome you to the next phase of your relationship with us. Leeds Trinity is your university and will be here for you whenever you need us, when you're looking for your next job, if your skills need refreshing, if you're ready for the next academic challenge. You're joining a global community of over 25,000 Leeds Trinity graduates. They, like you, are exceptional individuals working in all sorts of organisations around the world as teachers, key stage leaders, head teachers and lecturers. As you graduate today, your future is bright and your opportunities are limitless. Your degrees has provided you with knowledge, professional experience and highly sought after graduate level skills. The vocational focus of your course has given you the best possible opportunity to be ready for the world of teaching. And throughout your time with us, you've become more independent, more rounded individuals, and hopefully made friends for life. These life experiences are just as important as the academic merits of a degree and a professional qualification. And I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say it's been a pleasure to watch you develop and grow into inspiring individuals with bright futures ahead of you. Whilst Leeds Trinity University has developed and grown over the last 50 years, one thing remains constant, our complete commitment to developing highly employable graduates who are able to make a significant and lasting contribution to society. It's why 95% of our graduates last year were in work or further study six months after graduating. It's why we're the top mainstream university in Yorkshire and in the top 20 nationally for student satisfaction and teaching quality. And it's why we're ranked fourth nationally in the Guardian League table for value added, a rating which compares student degree results with their entry qualifications to show how effectively they have been taught at university. It is why this university exists and why we're so proud of all of you on this special day. So today we celebrate the success of you, our 2018 graduates. Everyone at Leeds Trinity appreciates that life is far from easy for today's graduates. Learning is a personal challenge. All of you will have faced your own particular challenges 
and all of you have overcome them. Your family and friends will have supported you. Many of you will have had to work to pay your way. All of you will have made sacrifices to ensure your success today. So finally, please remember this moment and this day. Remember the people who are around you. Remember the people who've been with you on your journey. But always remember the many others who've supported you and contributed to your achievement. Everyone here at Leeds Trinity is immensely proud of you and of your success. Look to the future with optimism and take your talents out to the world. You are all exceptional people. Well done and congratulations. We now move to the conferment of the awards for our graduates. I invite Mr. Ed Podesta to present awards from the Institute of Childhood and Education. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, I'm pleased to present the following graduates who have been awarded a postgraduate certificate in education with QTS. In primary education three to seven, I present Katie Adiman. Eve Bannatyne. <laughs> Bonnie Bartlett. <laughs> Sharon Blenkhan. Kirsty Campbell. <laughs> Rebecca Cohen. <laughs> Chelsea Dresser. Olivia Drury. <laughs> Harriet Flaherty. <laughs> Marie Gilligan. Kelly Hancock. <laughs> Bethany Harris. <laughs> Eleanor Heaton. Emma Hillary. <laughs> Catherine Hobbs. <laughs> Georgina Holmes. Melanie Jackson. <laughs> Rachel Joyce. <laughs> Shireen Gul Khan.
Jessica Lass. Lucy Martin. Katie Moore. Jenna O'Neill. Grace Parker. Danielle Patterson. Catherine Piers. Lucy Pollock. Alison Roberts. <laughs> Kerry Rushworth. <laughs> Jody Souden. Thomas Spence. <laughs> Oliver Strelzini. <laughs> Lucy Tharby. Autumn Thompson. Fiona Widows. Carly Wilkinson. Leanne Woodier. In primary education 5 to 11, I present Heather Alistair. Harjinder Bacchus. Caroline Barker. <laughs> Joe Barnes. <laughs> Harriet Blacker. Matthew Brightwell. <laughs> Emily Broadwith. <laughs> Claire Burke. Oh, there you father. Sorry for that. <laughs> Adam Carson. Rebecca Connolly. <laughs> Constance Drury. <laughs> Matthew Duke.
Daisy Dunning. <laughs> Christina Economides. <laughs> Laura Gatewood. Nicole Gilhooley. <laughs> Christopher Granger. <laughs> David Harper. Danielle Hislop. <laughs> Hazel Hollingsworth. <laughs> Polly Holm. Sam Housen. <laughs> Anissa Hussein. <laughs> Andrew Kaufman. Georgina Kerfoot. <laughs> Rachel Marshall. <laughs> the following graduate is also the recipient of the PGCE Primary Education School Direct Prize, Lauren McGough. Andrew Owen. <laughs> Leah Payne. <laughs> Joanna Petra. Annalise Pyle. <laughs> Shannon Quirk. <laughs> Farah Rakib. Christopher Scrimshaw. <laughs> Jake Shepherd. <laughs> Alison Slater. Chloe Smith. <laughs> Jack Nathan Smith. <laughs> James Stott.
Roxanne Usher. Erin White. The following graduate is also the recipient of the PGCE Primary Education Provider Lead Prize, Bethany Wilson. Nicola Wormersley. <laughs> Rachel Wood. <laughs> In secondary education, art and design, I present Bethan Herbert. In secondary education computer science with ICT, I present Jennifer Buxton. In secondary education dance, I present Olivia Smith. The following graduate is also the recipient of the Leeds Skit Prize, Alice Wilde. In secondary education drama, I present Charlotte Knowles. Ellis McCarthy. Bethany Mulrainen. In secondary education English, I present Sophie Jackson. In secondary education mathematics, I present Gemma Howarth. In secondary education, modern foreign languages, I present Miasa Smail. In secondary education, science with biology, I present Alexander Kelly. In secondary education, science with physics, I present Amy Lowe. The following graduates have been awarded a Professional Graduate Certificate of Education with QTS. In Primary Education 3 to 7, I present Charles Colrainen. Fiona Douglas. Charlotte Roberts. In primary education, five to 11, I present Martin Riley. Jessica Stubbs Sims. In secondary ed education, art and design, I present Daniel Bielitz. In secondary education, dance, I present Ben Bradley.
in secondary education design and technology, I present Timothy Hargreaves. Sarah Lancel. In secondary education drama, I present Carleen Ray. In secondary education job. In secondary education geography, I present Sam Scott. In secondary education history, I present Sarah Defici. In secondary education, modern foreign languages, French, I present the following graduate, who is also the recipient of the Leeds Skit Prize, Rupert Berry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of awards and prizes from the Institute of Childhood and Education. I now invite the Pro-Chancellor, Mr John Battle, to give his address. Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and most of all today's graduates, um, it's my privilege really just to say a few words of congratulations, uh, gratitude and encouragement for the, the future. Um, today is one of life's milestones that when together we publicly recognise the great efforts of commitment and dedication over years, really, for many of you, perhaps two decades of, of study, of which you should be rightly proud. It's no mean achievement, and it deserves all our sincere congratulations today. And I just want to add that um, there was a nice creative touch of informality in receiving the prizes today, which will go great into the educational system. But can I thank all those who whooped and cheered on both sides of this chapel room? Because I think it said that your achievement was not just an individual achievement done alone, but it was coming from the heart of a whole community. That shone out, and we thank you for that in your years here. But first, a word of gratitude. Um, that effort you've made would not have been achieved without the help of a great crowd of supporters throughout your study years. Yes, parents, loved ones, special friends, but not least our teachers, who we should always gratefully acknowledge. Often I feel, and it's true in, in my own circumstances in life, they will never know the real support and influence they have really been on our lives. And how that small word of encouragement and challenge can sometimes be the making of us. And I think that mantle now falls to you as teachers for the next generation to encourage, to inspire, and to ch challenge the next generation for the future. The challenges of today's perhaps confusing and troubled world, increasingly dominated by new technologies, of course, digital and virtual worlds, the environmental challenges, the development of artificial intelligence, yes, issues of trade and migration, international inequalities, and uneven development, may we say, not, not to mention the need for conflict resolution and peacekeeping. They're all challenges that need all our talents, skills, and commitment more than ever 
across a wide range of disciplines. And I thought what shone out in the presentations this afternoon was that range of disciplines that you now take into the future, that range right across the board. Design, dance, you know the subjects better than I. But perhaps bringing them together in new ways. Perhaps it's a world now which is regarded as both chaotic and complex, and the real challenge is to discover new joined up ways of working together. I understand now that the um, England football manager, Gareth Southgate, is now in great demand by industry and business. They want him as a motivational speaker, and they're inviting him along to help them develop real cooperational teamwork in a world of intense competition. But actually last week I was more imp impressed, not by the football, but by another event. There was teamwork of a thousand people plus volunteers across languages, skills, experience, engineering and medicine demonstrated in the Thailand rescue of the young football team stranded deep in the caving system. And when the members of the British caving rescue scheme came back to Heathrow Airport, they spoke very humbly of how careful and coordinated teamwork together with shared leadership could work to, as they call it, work miracles of achievement in incredibly difficult circumstances. And that example of cooperation could perhaps be the model for our coming years. I was particularly impressed by the provincial governor uh, in Thailand. He was asked, why was the mission so successful, given all the odds against it? And he simply said, we had the power of love. Everybody sent it and made it work. Um, the next phase of life that's opening up for you now is perhaps as these graduates to face the future great challenges. And especially you who are bequeathed with the best education, perhaps the responsibility now entrusted to you by society is to go out and contribute to shaping the future, the next generation, a world in which communities in which you work and live will be inspired by your ideas, your creative creativity and your practice. Um, and I think it's not simply a matter of sharing the knowledge and skills that you've learned, but rather perhaps it's that larger ethical responsibility that you've developed here at your time at Leeds Trinity. To use your whole personal development to work for a better society for all, to participate in building up the common good and in creating a world in which resources are shared more equally and in which people are all treated with dignity. Fostering an inclusive society and yes, one in which technologies are put to the service of all people. Um, I think it's perhaps significant that we meet here in this chapel. It's a place of reflection, a place perhaps of context setting, a place where we renew our sense of purpose right at the heart of Lee's Trinity University. A place in which each person is recognised as having a special, unique vocation to contributing to transforming our world and leading the next generation into the future, as you will be doing. In October, the bishops of the Catholic Church are gathering specifically to discuss the vocation and contribution of young people to the next generation. And in his invitation, Pope Francis urged all young people, he said this, do not lose the chance to dream big and play your part in the unique story of cooperating in transforming our world for the future. One of the great and few women appointed doctors of the church, a woman without formal education, who lived in Siena, St. Catherine of Siena. She couldn't read and write, and she spoke through a priest who helped write down her notes and letters. She was known to be a simple person who worked among the poor, but it was also known for her great wisdom and advice, and ended up giving advice, yes, to popes and emperors. She wrote to a, a young man in the troubled times of the 14th century, and she said this, if you are who you should be, you will set not just your locality, 
put the whole world on fire. I think it's up to you now, as the teachers of the next generation, yes, to encourage, to inspire, and to challenge, to remake the future. And finally, can I just recommend that you, you keep in touch, yes, with your, your friends, your peer group here, but also with your, your teachers and the staff here at Leeds Trinity. Let us share your journey, your personal journey, because now you will be the ones that lead and inspire people, young people, into the future. So congratulations. Make the most of enjoying today and all the very best for the future. I now invite Amy Lowe and Alexandra Kelly, students of the graduating cohort, to give the vote of thanks. Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, and respected lecturers and fellow graduates, it's an honour to stand here today and deliver this vote of thanks. And I'd like to thank the Leeds Trinity Skip Programme for this opportunity. When we were first asked to write this speech, we started to gather all the memories that we've made over the past year, which I can tell you is an awful lot, but we'd like to share with you some of our most powerful ones. In what it seems like a blink of an eye, the year has passed, and I'm now standing here with a postgraduate certificate in education. I can hardly believe it, and it sounds so good. So well done to every single person in the room today. You should all be exceptionally proud of yourselves. But I think being a graduate is so much more than just a qualification. Okay, it's more than just a piece of paper. So I stand here not only as a graduate, but also as somebody who has grown as an individual, ready and willing to take my next step in life. Each of us have made that journey, and the reason that I think we have been so successful is down to the never-ending support of the Leeds Trinity staff and students. For many of us today, this will be our last visit to Leeds Trinity, and it is important for us all to share in our friendships and happy memories that we've made together in this past year. I remember starting this journey, walking to a canteen room full of people, and that I judged straight away, sorry guys, and thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> Bad decision, Alex. But how wrong could I have been? This year has come and gone in the blink of an eye, but I've made some truly remarkable friendships that will last a lifetime. The camaraderie and togetherness has helped us all become the best teachers possible, and I know that this will continue well into our teaching careers. I cannot dis uh, discuss my time on the Leeds Skip course without referencing my partner in crime, Joseph Basquil, uh, Basquil, who's actually not here today, but together as a dynamic duo, or a terrible twosome, depending on who you ask, we have striven to enlighten the children of Leeds of the joys of Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 science. I'm glad to report this has been mostly successful, but not without the odd hiccup. One of our finest hours may have been going against the number of skit regulations. Uh, back in the depths of stage one, on a Friday, fueled by Thirsty Thursday, red wine, and no sign of a lesson plan for period one. <laughs> Somehow we managed to engage 8x1 in a detailed, engaging, and thought-provoking debate about organ transplant that was planned in a 30-minute car journey to Weatherby. <laughs> Still not quite sure how we managed it. Teaching has been my aspiration for a very, very long time, and like most of you, I leave Leeds Skit with my foot firmly in the door of teaching. An opportunity to chase my dream I wouldn't have found without the amazing placements through the Leeds Skit. I am blessed with the amazing school I'm about to start my next chapter in, a school which continues to support the values and ethos of the Leeds Skit, all of which we have all become accustomed to, friendship, hope, and a, per a perseverance to never give in. Some of us may go into teaching, while some of us may not. But at whatever we do, the hard work that we have put into getting our PGC should not be forgotten. We're going out into the real world now on our own, and it is scary, but we've got our friends, we've got our family, and we do have each other. We are going to make mistakes. We're not going to be as perfect as Miss Honey from Matilda, but that's okay. Because it's the struggles we have and the mistakes that we make that are going to help us learn and grow ourselves. 
Without the incredible effort of all the Leeds Skit staff, none of this would have been possible. I'm sure I speak up on behalf of everybody here when I give my sincerest thanks to the staff of this incredible institution. Through our ups and downs, we couldn't have made it to the end without you. From the lecturing staff to our lead and link tutors, and last but not least, our mentors, who have guided us through the toughest times on our course. It is also very important that we thank our loved ones and our friends for being there for us throughout our PGCE. You've cheered us up when we've had a bad lesson and have been crying on the toilet profusely at break time, or is that just me? <laughs> or when we felt like quitting, you've reminded us all the good things about teaching and you've been absolutely amazing at reading our essays and helping us plan here and there. Lead skit may seem small, but to me and many of you, it isn't just a bunch of people and constant emails. It's an extended family and one I'll miss very much. So I would like to congratulate, uh, congratulate you all on your degrees today and wish you all the best for the future. We may have all started as strangers, but just as Alex has said, we have become part of an extended family and that's a friendship that I'd like to continue. I'd like to end this moment with a quote by Rita Pearson to remind us all that every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, somebody who understands the power of connection and insists that that person can become the best that they can be. And I'll leave us on this. The values we have learnt from our skit degree allowed us to be this champion. I urge you to always be that champion. Thank you. <laughs>